हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डी के गौतम एंड थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग इंटरव्यू पॉइंट सो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज स्टोर प्रोसीजर इन एच क्यू एल सर्वर एंड हाउ इट वर्क एंड व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ स्टोर प्रोसीजर एंड हाउ टू क्रिएट सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज स्टोर प्रोसीजर इन सिक्वल सर्वर ओके सो स्टोर प्रोसीजर इज नथिंग बट इट इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ वन और मोर प्री कंपेर्ड एज क्यूएल स्टेटमेंट इन टू अंगल लॉजिकल यूनिट सपोज we are having sql uh, statement like select a staff from student suppose i want to have insert query and one more query i have i have to update a data we can put one or more sql statement single logical unit so next point is it is stored as an object inside the database server it is stored into the database server as a logical unit now stored procedures can also be cached and reused the best benefit of creating a stored procedure is we can reuse this stored procedure wherever we want okay so we don't want to rewrite our sql statement again and again uh, it will reduce the uh, server overhead now types of stored procedure actually there are two types of stored procedure in sql server so first one is user defined stored procedure so let's understand what is this user defined stored procedure actually user defined stored procedure are created by database developers or database administrators okay so the responsibility of creating uh, user defined stored procedure is the developer okay or we can say database developer or database administrator as per the requirement database developer can create stored procedure as a logical unit now this stored procedure contains one or more sql statement to select update or delete records from database tables so i, I already told you we can put multiple statement in a single stored procedure the next point is user defined stored procedure is mixture of ddl ddl is nothing but data de definition language and dml data manipulation language data manipulation language is nothing but insert update or delete okay crud operations we can say so user defined stored procedure is mixture of ddl and dml commands so the next type of stored procedure is system defined type okay so system stored procedure the server's administrative tasks depends primarily on system stored procedures when sql server is installed into our machine it creates system procedures okay so at the time of installation it creates system stored procedures okay so actually there is no uh, dependency on the database developer so database developer is not responsible for this okay even we can we cannot modify this stored procedure okay so it will take care by the system now what is the stored procedure syntax and how we can create stored procedure in our database so there is very simple syntax create procedure and here we will give the database name and the schema name okay and here it is the procedure name and here we have to provide the parameters of stored procedure suppose we can have multiple parameter or it cannot have any parameters okay and then as and begin here we have to write our sql statement it may be a select statement it may be a stand insert statement it may be a update statement or it might be a delete statement any statement we can write here okay and then we have to write end okay so guys you have confused like what is the procedure name so we can provide any name actually in the world everything has a name like every person has a name every single unit has a name to identify okay to identification purpose we have to give the name suppose we are writing a stored procedure to select a list of student so what is the best name for that stored procedure it it will be student list so like that we can provide name okay so everything has a name so that's why we have to provide name to the stored procedure as well okay what is set no count on in stored procedure actually set no count statement prevents the message that displays the number of rows affected by sql queries okay and next statement is no count denotes that count is turned off okay actually whenever we will put this statement into the stored procedure 
into this stro procedure here begin here after begin here we will write set no count so whenever we will call this stro procedure it will not display the number of rows affected into the database okay guys so that is the use of set no count on into the stro procedure i will show you how to create a stro procedure in database here only in this but in the next part of this video i will create uh, so many uh, stro procedure so that you can understand better how many types of stro procedure we can create how we can manipulate data and how we pass parameters to a stro procedure everything i will tell you into the next video so to execute or we can say call a stro procedure we can call two way so suppose we can write a simple statement exec is nothing but a short form of execute exec stro procedure or here we have to provide the name exec and procedure name or or we can say either execute procedure name here we have to provide procedure name suppose here i am having this sql statement and i want to put this sql statement into a stro procedure let's understand how to create a stro procedure in our sql server database so suppose i will write here create or alter create or alter here i have to provide procedure procedure and what is the name of the procedure here so procedure name is student list now what is the recommended name of the stro procedure suppose it is a stro procedure i am giving a student list okay to identify what is the recommended stro procedure name we have to provide sp before the providing the name of the stro procedure okay so identifying okay that we can understand okay this is the stro procedure it is the suggested name and we can also put here underscore if you want it is up to you you can provide sp and underscore actually this is totally up to you how you are providing the name of the stro procedure but it is recommended provide the sp before providing the name of the stro procedure okay some of the people write like this sp underscore student list and then what what we have to write here as and then begin begin here okay and then here we have to write sql statement okay and then we have to write end okay so this is the syntax of pro, uh, creating the stro procedure okay now what is the statement in our case uh, in our case statement is select star from this student okay now we can create this stro procedure now let's execute this and we can see command completed successfully so we can say our stro procedure is created into our database so let's uh, execute this exec we can give exec and provide the stro procedure name here now execute it now we will get the list of this stro procedure now we will get the list now we got the list of the student now suppose we can also write like this execute and complete name of the stro procedure now we can see suppose i want to uh, update this query okay so what i am doing here actually we can create this procedure like this okay but what is the syntax i have provided here create or alter alter is nothing but suppose i want to modify this query so without dropping this procedure we can directly execute this uh, sql uh, stro procedure so it will update our query suppose order by order by p okay now if i will execute this this statement only then what result we will get here you can see 2 3 5 it is coming like this order by id and now what is order by order by we have to provide here order by order by fees so currently what is the order by by default order is id now what is the real what real we got here order by fees we can see two 2000 25000 45000 50000 60000 like this we are getting that now i want to modify now still i haven't modified this procedure so we can go to the rel as previously okay now i i am going to modify this stro procedure so our stro procedure is modified and now i will execute this and now what i can do here we can see our rel now what is the use of set no count on i will show you the set no count on what is the meaning of set no count on guys understand here go to the message tab what is it is saying five rows affected because we haven't set here set no count on suppose i am going to modify this set no count on here this is statement we have written now i have put this statement into the stro procedure now i am going to alter this stro procedure 
execute store process is altered now execute this command now our command executed successfully on and we got the result go to the second tab messages now we got the that message number of record affected we can't see that message number of row affected into this okay so this is the use of set no count so guys i hope you understand how to create and alter a stro procedure and how we can how we can use set no count into the stro procedure and how we can call stro procedure okay we can also call like this execute the, in the short form exec okay like this and how to provide the better name to a stro procedure this is all about the stro procedure okay in the next video i will tell you how to build the pair how to create a procedure with parameters name and how to modify our data ways using stro procedure okay i will also show you how to do crud operation using stro procedure in the next video so guys don't forget to watch next part of this video okay i hope you understand this video if you have any doubt you can ask me through comment thanks for watching this video guys please subscribe our youtube channel if you haven't subscribed you can follow me on facebook twitter and linkedin this is my blog url you can check it out guys if you have any doubt you can ask me through comment please provide your feedback thanks